Well, the unmade filters are just about finished. As I was saying before, water goes in there. Inside it comes out the pipe and is flushed around inside like a vortex. It then comes up and goes through this two inch pipe into here. And then that drops all the way down to the bottom. And it's got a T-junction on the bottom again, causing a vortex around the inside of the bin. That then comes up and goes from there into this one. And it's the same on this one as well, uh, causing the vortex to go around. And then the final one goes through this system here, this pipe, into the back into the pond. Each one of these has one of these little ensures on so that I can open them up and flush the water down the grid inside they have a little one and a half inch u-bend uh, on which is about a quarter of an inch off the bottom of the bin so it sucks all the water out each one's the same. So basically that's the bins. Now the outside here, um, I'm gonna connect these up by using 38 mil piping. They'll all be joined together. Um, they'll go through these little brackets here and then the last one will have a tap on so that they can be opened up when needed. Uh, to flush themselves out so basically there's no work to do on them once the media is put in and the pipes connected up they literally take care of themselves the media can be flushed at will um, so that it cleans itself uh, all like I say at a very very cheap cost All the parts I got from uh, my favourite uh, retailer, that's Discount Leisure, uh, Stuart down there was, does a good deal and um, the bits and pieces are pennies from him, you get, basically get them at a trade price. So I always go there now. As you can hear in the background I'm having the problems with the skimmer. As always, these skimmers have got a tendency to come out of the water. Once they get full, uh, or the bottom uh, motor, as, as, as the filtration is full, they, they just pop themselves out of the water. Um, my problem for solving this is quite simple. You just cut a bigger hole in the um, plastic at the bottom. So that the water can come out quicker and that stops it popping out of the water. I might also put a pipe on that little uh, at the bottom on the motor uh, to send the water to the filter system. Fish are coming up. The fish are quite lively today with the covers off, looking what's going on. Water's a little bit murky at the moment because I've been cleaning it out, but that'll settle itself down. So, busy day.